Hey everybody, this is Chris and today we're going to do a proper calibration for the gimbal on the Hubson Zeno. And I say proper calibration because this basically uh, is as full of a calibration as you can do and in, in the case of replacing your gimbal, you have to do this and it, it, it not only calibrates it but it basically programs all its, all its uh, access points and its home point. Um, so it's a in-depth uh, calibration tool, if you will. So if you look at the screen right here, you'll see I have a software tool that's from Hubson. That's the Hubson Zeno uh, Gimbal, Zeno Gimbal Tool version 1.1. And then you'll also need this guy right here. This is a gimbal cover, but it's not your typical gimbal cover. This right here will lock the gimbal in the perfect home position for all its access points. You have to have this. So those of you asking, can I use my regular gimbal cover that came with the Zeno? No, you cannot. Uh, you want to get this. So it's a very inexpensive, cheap buy. And um, I'll put a link in the bottom of the video for this, uh, in the description of this video for this right here where you can purchase that and whether you need it or not right now I would purchase it and just keep it in your your arsenal of tools for the Hubson Zeno because when the day comes you're gonna wanna wanna have this and not wait 30 days for it to come for chi from China and then I uh, for the the tool right here I will put a link for you to download that tool as well so in this case this one's crashed I've fixed and replaced a bunch of stuff in it but we still have a problem with the gimbal um, and basically the gimbal is just confused it has no idea where the home point is and it it thinks it's on the edge of its access full access point and it just sits there and vibrates um, so if you get if you power on your Zeno and your your gimbal sits there and does that that real erratic crazy jump that they do um, this will fix that if it just sits there and vibrates or you hear a humming noise within it this will fix that so um, that's where you want to do this this uh, calibration and um, we're gonna go ahead and just power it on and show you exactly what this one's doing and I apologize right now if my screen on my recording here skips frames uh, I'll stop at that point and I'll repeat myself when it comes back. I'm having a computer issue between the computer and the camera, so let's power it on. And you'll want to listen. Don't know if you can hear that. Let me change position. So you hear that? See it vibrating, dancing around? So that's one of the issues that this will take care of. And like I said, the other one is if you turn it on and your, your, your gimbal jumps all over the place real crazy, this will fix that. Um, I have another video for error codes. Um, there's two error codes where there's a fix. Um, and only one of those error codes does the app calibration usually fix. If, it, if that doesn't fix it, this will. So we're going to go ahead and fix this issue now. And uh, by doing that, we open the tool the software tool you see right there and we're gonna plug in the battery we're gonna power it on we're gonna have our USB cable ready you wanna plug the USB into your computer have this one ready plug in your Zeno power it on with your software tool open and if you notice it says not connected so we're gonna plug it into the Zeno now down on the bottom you see it says connected we're gonna to go to calibrate gyro so if you notice it says minus one zero and minus one um, that's not bad actually but you still need to do this just to make sure everything is as close to zero as possible with your gyro so we're gonna click start and then our problem with the camera will go away too after we do this the camera will, the gimbal will go completely limp so right now it says zero three and zero those aren't great numbers but I've got it sitting on my case right now 
if you get anything with up to like a, a one or negative one, that's fine. But a three, that's a little too far off. Um, but for this, it's going to be perfectly fine just to show you in the video. When you do it, put it on a nice flat level surface, just like you're doing it in IMU calibration, because that's kind of what we're doing here now. So that's all done. It's, it's gone and done that. Our camera is now completely limp no power to it whatsoever we've done that calibration so next what we want to do and I've got to read my notes because I've only done this like three times and there's so many steps it's hard to remember so we've done that and then we're gonna to go to calibrate hall and that's this tab right here and what we're going to do is we're gonna click start and it's gonna say state 2 so now we want to calibrate state 2 which is taking the camera uh, camera lens and going full up full down you want to do that twice you don't have to be on a flat level surface keep we want to stay connected with our cable so don't unplug it so we're going to take the camera it's all the way down we're going to point it all the way up once bring it down up twice bring it down now we're going to click next and it says state six state six we are going to take the gimbal and go full this way full this way a second time full this way full this way that's done click next and it says state 10 take the gimbal turn it full that way full this way and then do it a second time and we're done there and it says finish so after you've done that you click finish you click next and it'll say finish we're done with that so now after doing that we want to uh, calibrate MC so what it's going to do you're gonna to wanna to watch the gimbal on this we're gonna to go to calibrate MC align it's basically just gonna go through its access points so now that we're gonna we're gonna have it setting nice and flat click start now watch the gimbal It says finish so now that that's done it's all limp again and we're going to want to go to uh, calibrate ENC and put our cover on so we're going to put the cover on and it's got a hole in it so you can put your finger on the lens. I get it started, then I put my finger on the lens and I push the lens forward. It's not easy. <laughs> and we're not forward either. Okay, now we are. So once you have your lens pointing perfectly forward, you lock it in place. That gimbal is going nowhere. It's dead center for all its access points. So it's not going anywhere. Put that cover on, click calibrate ENC, click start, and it says finish. I don't understand exactly what that does, but it's fast. So I guess it just says it's in the center point. Now we're going to do all our six access points. So now we're going to go into, um, I think it's calibrate, yeah, calibrate ACC. And from here, you want to, again, put it on a flat level surface, and you're going to click Start, and then we're going to put it on its left side, and you'll see from there. This you want to be careful. You want to make sure, because this is all going to be on your own eyesight. You're going to be holding it level when you tilt it on its side in different positions, and you want to do that, keep it still and steady, and make sure it's as level as you can do it. It's not a critical thing, so if you're off a little bit, it's not going to hurt you. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and go through all that right now. So let's click Start with it on a flat level surface. And it'll go through the first calibration. And you'll see number five lights up. So now we're going to hold it on its side. I'll leave that there. 
and we're going to want to hold it as vertical and still as possible till the next number shows up. Now we're going to, number two showed up, so now we're going to go nose down, hold it flat. I look at the bottom of it to make sure I'm vertical. So now we're going on the other side, the right side, flat as, or vertical as possible. Now we're going to go nose up, vertical as possible. And now we're going to hold it upside down. And then that's done. So we're going to click stop and unplug and pull the battery. And now we're going to see if we fixed it. Got to take the cover off. Plug the battery back in, we got it off, set, set it back down, plug the battery back in. We're going to power on and watch the gimbal and make sure everything's okay. No vibrations. Make sure it's functioning perfectly. It's working. So that's how you do a proper calibration to get rid of that crazy dance and vibration noise or if it's just simply way out of whack. And um, like I said, I will have a link for this tool. Uh, I highly recommend you get this now whether you need it or not. You're only going to spend a couple bucks to get this and um, add it to your tools like I've said your little arsenal of tools for the Xeno and uh, take this uh, video or this uh, software tool that I have here in the bottom of the screen and download that just keep that on your computer so you have it and then if you ever have a gimbal issue uh, like I've showed you or like I've explained to you then you now have the fix for it so uh, this one was a, uh, a member of mine from um, a member of my group. He crashed it. I've replaced and fixed everything that it needed. Now I've done this calibration. I'm going to put the rest of it back together and uh, do its test flights and send it back to him and get him back to flying again. So um, another successful repair of a Hubson Zeno uh, by me. <laughs> So I really hope this helped everybody. Um, this is a very useful tool. Uh, it's a little bit of a goofy process, but it is needed to train that gimbal. Uh, it's not just a simple calibration. Basically, you are completely retraining the gimbal for its home point and all its access points. Um, so it knows where, it's, where the program is telling it to point. So uh, that's it. I've got other ones for your uh, gimbal error codes that I'm putting up on my, my channel, so look for those. Uh, so hopefully that will help you with some of your gimbal errors. One's, a, one's for gimbal error 0004 and the other one is for gimbal error 0008, which requires a patch firmware to fix that one and to teach you how to do the gimbal calibration from the app properly. It's not just a click and be done. It takes a little more than that to get you through it. So uh, Hubson doesn't explain this to you. People just kind of figure it out and pass it on as they go. And uh, so when I learned of it, I wanted to make a video and I'm pretty late in doing so, but I'll make sure I get that video up today. And uh, you should have more tools to work on your gimbal. Lord knows I have enough of them on my channel. So look at all my videos on my channel and you'll see I have a fix almost for everything on the Hubson Zeno. And definitely click that subscribe button if you do not uh, subscribe already. Um, I will I greatly appreciate it. And as always, on your way out, click that thumbs up button. And uh, that just helps my algorithm with this video to make sure this video pops up for other people in searches. So the more thumbs up you give it, the better algorithm and uh, more people we help with this type of video. So uh, that's about it and uh, look forward to my next video and thank you all very much. Take care.